Yes, I know my graphics card and my monitor are missing, but do you want to see what I did with them? So this is what I've done. I've put three Acer Predator X34s together to form one giant monitor. Now this gives me a total resolution of 10,320 by 1440 and 102 inches of horizontal screen real estate. So I'm going to use my test bench to drive these insane monitors. Now, yes, I know it's on the floor, there was nowhere else to put it with the monitors taking up all the desk space. And I'll also put a list of the specs on the screen right now. Okay, so now you've seen it, let's see what it's like to use and how it performs. This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 All right, so we're all back together then, and that was really, really fun. And first of all, let me say, that 1080 Ti did way, way better than I expected. Yeah, on a couple of games I had to turn it down to medium, but on some it handled it on high, ultra, no dramas whatsoever. So 1080 Ti's, wow, they've got some serious clout. I was really impressed. All right, so what about just general usability then? Could I use this as a daily system? Probably not. The fact that there's just so much screen real estate makes things very, very awkward. For example, when you're opening up new windows or when you get dialog boxes pop up, you're not sure on which of those screens it's gonna pop up on and that makes it very, very awkward. And it's just too far between where you're sitting in the middle and the other screens on the side. It's just way, way awkward. So as far as general usability goes, I probably wouldn't recommend this kind of setup just for daily use. But for gaming, was it cool as shit? Hell yeah, it was. 
it was an amazing experience. Now, this is kind of going to show my console heritage here a little bit, but this experience for me was one that I'll remember. I have never experienced a setup quite like this before, and it was kind of like back in the day when I had my first game of, say, Halo on a LAN where you couldn't screen cheat, you know, the first time you played somebody on a genuine um, LAN game that was on a different console, or the first time you walk out into Hyrule Field if you're, a, if you're a Zelda fan in Ocarina of Time, you know, or the first time you try VR. It's things like that, it's experiences like that that you won't forget, and for me, this was one of them. So it was an amazing experiment, very cool, um, but as far as daily use and a permanent solution, it's probably not gonna be that. So in saying that, this brings us to the end of this video. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, put a like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you guys run a triple screen setup or what you thought of this insane setup. And um, let me know also if you prefer this kind of video. I mean, I do some review videos, but different things like this, I think are fun and break it up a little bit. So I hope you guys really did enjoy it. And let me know what you think, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.